Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? Um, so today I'm excited. I'm doing a foundation review, but um, I am actually trying to head out the door. It's my brother's birthday party dinner thing tonight, and I wanted to try out this new foundation that the internet has lost their mind over. So I wanted to see what the hype was about and let you guys know. Um, my subscribers, I, you guys know I'll be honest with you guys. I don't get this in PR. Paid for this myself. <laughs> um, it is with tax and everything. I don't remember. I know it's in the $40 range. Probably $50 maybe. Um, but I will link it. Um, I usually buy mine. I know so Ulta has it and Sephora carries it. You can get it off NARS.com. But I purchased mine from Sephora. I'll link it down below the color that I have. But I know the shade color is Vienna. Um, this is one fluid ounce. And it looks like the packaging. Like all the NARS foundation packaging. Um, I did do like the on Sephora. What I do like about Sephora. They do have where you can think of like your favorite foundation shade um, and brand and everything. And then which my favorite foundation in um color and everything is this one i always go by this shade or like, especially if i'm fair like i am right now um i do have a little bit of self tanner on so that's why my neck is different from my face but i didn't put any on my hands i don't know um but anyway i usually go for this this one which is 30 and in so that it matched me to this color which is called um Vienna and I think it says something like light cool or light neutral in that range um and I did swatch it earlier today because I got it in the mail today um and it comes in this glass bottle which obviously NARS is kind of expensive so um you get the black packaging and then you get your um Said it has a pump that's what I was trying to say and this one is definitely my shade um, I've been doing a new technique with my foundation so I am going to show you guys how I do it and basically we're just going to talk about the foundation and then I'm gonna go off camera and do my makeup you know because I'm kind of in a hurry I'm on a timeline you know and then I'll come back and show you what my foundation is looks like and how long I've worn it and I'll pin a comment down below saying like how long the wear is it supposed to be a very I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be very long lasting sorry I keep on the camera long lasting um it says light reflecting foundation um okay so this one is the one that just is light ref light reflecting I do want to get my hands on the makeup forever that used to be my holy grail brand when I first started my channel was Make It Forever. I bought everything in Make It Forever. I really like that brand and I don't know why they just kind of like went off the grid for me. I just quit purchasing. Not anything negative about them. I just nothing really enticed me or anything but they have a new foundation that everybody's talking about as well and that one is supposed to be long wearing so I do want to get that one as well. I do have um, this one that I will be testing very very soon. The Maybelline Green um foundation and I also have the mascara to go with it um so be on the lookout for that one I also have a couple of powder foundation reviews and like I said I do want to get my hands on the um makeup forever uh, foundation and if you hear talking um everybody's at my house getting ready for the birthday dinner it's my brother's birthday we are 20 something years apart in age which is crazy um i've always thought of him as not as a brother but as more of a sit as more of one of my kids because he's actually very close to the same age as my, my son my oldest son is older than my brother figure that one out so because i remember let me start getting ready so this is the color it does look not my shade on camera but i'm telling you when i like swatched it earlier blended in very good so I'm gonna kind of I feel like you're a little too close but all right so I have been doing a new technique with my makeup so I'm gonna see if I can 
do this. Um, I need to pull my hair back a little bit, even though I really like the way my curls look. And I don't want to mess them up, but I don't want to get this in my hair. So what I've been doing is taking the foundation and just kind of rubbing it in with my fingers. I just feel like it, it gives you coverage, but it's just very lightweight. And I feel like just getting older, that's what I prefer. I'm really into more of um, very like lightweight, not coverage, but more like a medium coverage, but more of a light feeling on the skin. Nothing like thick, like I used to be really into that kind of thing. But getting older, I feel like definitely when it looks too cakey, it will settle into your fine lines and wrinkles and I don't know if you guys have noticed I'm sure you have but I have not got Botox in years which I plan on doing that this year when I get a chance um but it's either either I'll do it for like ask for it for Mother's Day or maybe I'll do it for my birthday coming up um oh my anniversary's coming up I have a lot of fun things coming up um I'm going to a concert you guys I'm going to a reba concert in a couple of days um it's crazy at my house in january and february that's where like my family's birthdays are um my husband's birthday is january 1st which is insane it's like right after christmas and you're like shit what am i gonna buy them? you know what i mean and then everybody's like doing ba oh, not Valentine's Day, New Year's, and then like he gets screwed on that. <laughs> um, so he's always liked that his birthday is on New Year's, but it's I I never liked it because it's like when we go out to celebrate, it's like every there's like everybody's out to celebrate for New Year's and stuff like that, and all the restaurants are crowded, and I don't know, it's just a pain. Um. And then, okay, I'm going to take a sponge because I, I think little, less is more with this. Um, I got a little crazy handed because look at all that on my hand. Um, I told you guys I really like light coverage. Um, and then in um, the end of January, my oldest son just turned 29 years old. Holy crap. Um. He is, him and his wife are expecting their first baby. So I'm going to be a grandma, which I'm so excited about. Um, I'm proud of him for getting, you know, his career, buying a home, um, you know, saving up money and then like having a baby. Everything I didn't do. So I'm super proud of him. Um, like I said, this is their first baby, my first grandkid. I'm really excited. They've already given me a lecture. You're not spoiling them. <laughs> they don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. So I will be letting you guys know. I'm, well, actually, I'm thinking about um, as long as they don't surprise me, like literally surprise me, I'm going to film it for you guys and show my reaction. Because, I mean, deep down inside, honestly, I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. I just really am excited to be a grandma. But, um, like, part of me really wants a little girl. Um, because you guys know, like, how much I love my little niece, Sophie. And, um, I've never really got to do, like, girl things. Um, obviously, I have my boys. And then I have a brother. So, to have a little girl would be, like, so fun. And you guys know, she would be getting the, like, royal treatment. Like, I would, she would have to have all the girly stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But back to what I was saying, my oldest son turned 29 years old the end of January. And then my youngest turned 21 February 13th. Like what the heck? So my youngest turned 21, my oldest turned 29. And um, then after that we had Valentine's Day, so obviously my husband celebrated Valentine's Day, and we went to um, dinner, had a really nice dinner. Um, 
hear people talking so i think people are getting coming here i think we're all gonna ride together or something i'm not sure it's like an hour from my house so i don't know um i think they're waiting on me so that's why i'm trying to hurry um but yeah and then valentine's day and then now it's my brother's birthday so um and then after after my brother's birthday in march no after my brother's birthday birthday we're doing the reba concert look at my hand um we're doing the reba concert um the february 24th i'm going to reba um and i'm really excited and then um march 13th is my dog both my dog's birthday we celebrate the dog's birthday together just because it's a lot easier so all that going on you guys it's been crazy okay so i'm just trying to make this match my neck because like i said normally my neck wouldn't be i wouldn't be this dark but i did have self tanner on because i am wearing a dress tonight um and let me see what this looks like kind of close up and it does not look bad around my nose pores um wow so it looks really natural i put like way too much on like i not normally i guess like just like an average day just like maybe going to target buy groceries or going to just a regular eat lunch or something i would have just put like one layer but i had all that i didn't want to waste it so i ended up putting what like three layers on and it's really really thin so it doesn't feel heavy at all and i'm really excited about it okay so i will like i said when i get back i will let you guys know the wear on this but so far i really do like it i am going to go off camera and get ready i will come check i'll let you guys see what i look like for the party and then um yeah because i gotta leave like in 30 minutes <laughs> um so i'll get ready and then come back show you guys my makeup and then i'll check in with you guys later on when i get back so um so far really like it i would say five out of five first impression but we'll have to see how it settles so i'll be back okay guys i just got through doing my makeup for the party um the only thing i didn't do was false lashes um and i'm debating i might pop those on before i walk out the door but this is what I'm wearing, my Twisted Silver necklace. I have some pieces from Anna Luisa, um, some rings. Um, this is Twisted Silver, these two Anna Luisa. Um, my hair, I just rolled it. Um, but like I said, the NARS foundation is what this is all about. And it looks so pretty on the skin it really looks like i have it just looks like i have pretty skin to be honest with you so so far i'm really impressed it's so like thin that's that's the key it's thin but has really good coverage like i mean honestly i don't have a lot of acne right now um, I don't think I have any blemishes, but I still have, you know, discoloration, sunspots, stuff like that. And it literally covered every single thing that I have on my face. So, I am super impressed. I'm going to a party and I'm really feeling good. Like, girl, you looking good tonight. Got your hair all rolled. Did my nails. But let me just tell you, this pinky and this pinky don't have nails because these are kiss nails you guys and i can't find the pinky ones so we're we look halfway good right and when i come back i will totally tell you about the foundation i'll let you see like in real time i'm gonna like come back really late tonight the party's gonna be a while so when you see me it'll probably be um after midnight or close to midnight maybe and i'll show you what my normal skin looks like i won't powder or anything like that show you real quick what i'm wearing um got my new bag here this is from what is it called the brand is called matt uh, matt and nat matt and nat 
and it's a cute little like I think the color is called what is it called dang I'm, my mom went blank matcha it's called matcha it's really pretty um it does have a longer strap I do have a sweater dress on it is freezing outside I'll show you like what it looks like um, I'll do a little Samantha March a little show you guys what I'm wearing so oh, my butt almost knocked over everything so got the booty 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 all right so I do have self tanner on my legs that's why they're a little tan I have some boots um this dress is from Target and the boots are from Target. You guys know I love Target. So this is very affordable, cute. This is not affordable, but <laughs> um, the dress and the boots are very affordable. So I'm ready to party. Actually, we're just, you know, doing like a family party. So it's nothing crazy. <laughs> Won't be dancing or anything like that. But again, I do want to, I'm, I'm debating on if I have time. I'm thinking about popping some lashes on because I don't know it just like intensifies the eyes you know but this video is not about any of this it's just about the NARS foundation and I will check in with you guys in a little while so see you after the pate I told you guys that the party would last till after midnight and it did <laughs> and I do want to say that I promise you I have not touched up the foundation whatsoever i did not powder this is my natural oils coming through i do have combo skin so i'm not super oily but i'm not super dry either so um i feel like i'm combo because i do have pores i feel like if i didn't have large pores i would be more normal skin but I have large pores in my T-zone, so I believe I'm more combo. Um, so I don't get super, super, but it's freezing outside, so <laughs> it's not like I was outside sweating or anything. So um, this is what the foundation looks like. I just want you guys to see a um, little shiny around my nose, and that is all I see. I don't see the makeup breaking up or anything. I feel like maybe a little bit off my chin i feel like maybe the makeup's come off my chin um yeah that's the only place where i see the makeup maybe has come off is on my chin if you guys can see that um and then again like i said i'm only around the nose area um and then it feels it looks like this part is like worn off just a tad i probably did this i kind of do this when i talk and when i'm like socializing i don't know why i just kind of prop my hand up on my chin so that's probably kind of why it looks like that between six and seven hours is what i've had it on so i feel like this would probably last a good a good eight to nine hours i feel like it would um, I don't know. I mean, I, it might last even longer than that. I really like it. I would definitely give this foundation a try if you are looking for just a really thin. This is super thin. That's why I like it so much. It just feels like you're not wearing any makeup and it's very, very liquidy. If you can hear that. Super watery. So, I kind of like I said, now that I'm getting older, I totally prefer this style. I used to prefer like more of a moussey foundation, more of a, uh, like a thicker one. Like if I put some on the back of my hand, it would stay there. But now I prefer more of the liquidy and I just feel like it looks really healthy. Um, like I said, I didn't touch up any of, I touched up my lipstick, obviously, because after you eat and you're talking and I did drink two glasses of wine that my lipstick and my lip gloss went off i'm not wearing um i'm not wearing the lip liner that stays all night the petra ta i'm actually wearing um what is it called let's see i'm wearing this one which i have you have to reapply this one is makeup by mario and travis it's a really pretty color it's very sim similar to the patrick ta color but 
So, I do have to reapply this one. It does last a long time, but after you drink and stuff, you you do have to kind of reapply it. So, I did reapply my liner. The lipstick I wore was Bare Minerals. Um, I don't know where it is, but I had it somewhere. Um, Bare Minerals. Oh, here it is. The Bare Minerals uh, lipstick in the color Grace. Which looks like that. It's like a pinky color. It's really pretty. Um, and then for lip gloss, I'm actually wearing Buxom lip gloss in the color. What is it called? So, Blushing Margarita is the lip gloss that I have on. And I just kind of apply it on in the center, center of my lip. Just give it a little pop. Yeah, I totally feel like this foundation is amazing. I'm definitely going to be trying the... Um, what other foundation am I trying? I'm going to be trying this one. The Maybelline Green Foundation and Mascara. In an upcoming video, I'm also going to be testing the new um, Makeup Forever Long Wearing Foundation. I would like to try and see how long that lasts. Um, so I will be buying that. And I also have a couple of powder foundations. I have the Bare Minerals um, Bare Pro Powder Foundation. I also have, what else? I have a lot of foundations i'm like on a foundation kick um and i told myself this year that i was only gonna buy one foundation because i need to do a declutter and i am still like i, I can't like foundation and concealers are my favorite things to buy i know a lot of people love to buy skincare but i personally i love i just love trying new foundations and this is definitely a top drawer foundation for me now i mean I've only, obviously, this is my first time to try it, but, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a gorgeous, like, it's one of those foundations, like, if somebody looked really close to you, it, you would not be, like, embarrassed. You would be, like, my skin looks so good, and it really does. It looks really good. When I first put it on, it put it on, I felt like it wasn't shiny at all. Um, it does say it has like, um, what, like reflecting light or whatever, but my oils come through and that's why my face looks a little shiny now, but earlier I don't feel like it looks shiny. My hair's felt, my, my curls are falling because it's like almost one o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> it's late, okay? My husband is asleep. Everybody is going to bed. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you that I really do like this foundation and I highly recommend it. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying it out more and more and more, but this is definitely would be like an everyday foundation for me. It is just beautiful on the skin. It's like, it's very light. It's very creamy. Um, I'm, my favorite is the texture of it. It's just, texture is just really nice. I mean, it just, it's like dripping down my hand. And it just blends out. Like I told you guys, I love blending it out with my fingers now. That's how I do my foundation. And it just looks like your skin, but better. Like, this is my skin. You can see all the veins, whatever. And this is my skin with a very, like, serum-y thin foundation. It just makes it look so flawless. I'm going to do a ranking foundation video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. But I, I did buy the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I bought a couple of powder foundations. I have this foundation. And I'm going to try out the um, Makeup Forever foundation. But uh, if you guys want to see me rank those, I will tell you which, which is my favorite. Um, oh, and then this one as well. I haven't tried that one yet. But... Let me know. I will do a ranking video for you guys. I do want to give you a little cheat. A little sneak cheat. Um, I prefer the NARS over the Charlotte Tilbury. I can't believe I'm saying that. But honestly, I think I like this better than the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I know I gave that a 5 out of 5. But 
I like this better. Um, the bottle's beautiful. I love the thinness of it. Oh, and it just looks like your skin but better. Alright, I'm, I'm just going on and on and on. So, if you guys want to see, like I said, um, a ranking after I get through trying on these foundations, let me know in the comments. Do you want, and also, do you want me to try out that new concealer like everybody is raving about? The, um, KVD Beauty apple concealer it's supposed to be like full coverage i can totally buy that too i was thinking about getting that to try out and trying out the uh, make it forever foundation let me know in the comments if you want to see those and if you want to see anything else let me know i know i had a subscriber i can't remember who it was so i apologize but someone asked me to do a review on this so i picked i did pick these up to do a review so that will be coming up next or maybe not after this video but it will be coming up um so yeah i hope everybody has a great day if you like this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it and yeah have a good one